Okay, we're going to grab these two equations and notice that they are pretty similar, but of course they are also different. The difference is that right here, this is just a plus 4, but here, this is plus 4x, okay? But anyway, let's go ahead and find our vertex first. And if you want to use the vertex formula, you have to remember, you have to find out the correct b value, right? And in this case, what's the b value? Well, there's no x term, right? Because you see, this is negative x squared plus 0x, and then plus 4. So in this case, the a is negative 1, and the b is actually 0. This is the c value, okay? In comparison to this, this right here is a b value, and we will have a being negative 1, right? Negative 1. And the b is a number in front of the x, which is the 4, okay? But now, let's just use the formula. You see, we have to find x is equal to negative b over 2a. And let me just write this down for you guys. And in fact, you have a quick way to do it. Whenever the b is 0, the whole thing is 0, so yeah, right? But I'll still show you guys the work. Negative 0 over 2 times negative 1, like this, and you still get 0. And let's just focus on this real quick. When you have x is equal to 0, that's the vertex, right? So you're just going to go ahead and make a quick table. You are going to get some x values, and you have y is equal to negative x squared plus 4, and let's put down 5 points. Always put on this number right in the middle, and then pick its neighbor numbers. So in this case, we will use negative 1 and 1, and then negative 2 and 2. And now, if you plug in 0 into this x, you get negative 0 squared plus 4, right? This is plus 4 right here. Uh, hopefully you guys can see. I know there's a little glare, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'll write this down for you guys. y equal to negative 0 squared plus 4, and you get 4 for that. Okay? And then you just do the same for the rest. When you plug in y is equal to 1 to when you plug in x is equal to 1 to here, y is equal to negative 1 squared plus 4. And this is going to give you negative 1 and then plus 4, which is 3. And then plugging 2 into x, we get y equal to negative 2 squared plus 4. And notice that this right here is 4, and you have a negative 4, and then plus this 4, you get 0, okay? And in fact, once you have this done, you know this value is going to be 3 and 0, because parabolas are symmetrical, right, if you put the vertex right in the middle. So this is pretty much it. And we can make a quick graph right here. So let me just put down, let's say we have the negative 1, negative 2, and 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. First of all, 0, 4 is right here. And then when we have negative 1 and 1 right here, we both have the y value being 3, right? And when x is negative 2 and 2, the y values are both equal to 0. So we have this point here and this point here. So at the end of the day, we can just happily connect the dots, even though we get a sad parabola, a sad face parabola like this. But still good because we finished the question. So be really careful. The b value here is 0 because we do not have any x terms, okay? And now, in this case, b is actually equal to 4, and we still use the same formula. Let's write it down. x is equal to negative b over 2a. Negative is the negative from the formula, and the b is 4 in our case, and then over 2 times a, which is this negative 1. And now let's work this out. On the top, it's negative 4. On the bottom, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So you get altogether positive 2. And in this case, we have to put the 2 right in the middle of our chart, right? So let's do that real quick as well. I have the x values, and the y values are negative x squared plus 4x, like this. And now, let's see, 1, 2, 3, let's do one more, right? Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We are going to put down 2 right in the middle, right here, okay? And this is going to get us the vertex of this parabola. And then pick its neighbor numbers, 1 and 3, and then 0 and 4, right? And now let's just do the work. Let's plug in 2 into all the x here. We know y will be negative 2 squared, like this, and then plus 4 times 2, 
and then this right here is negative 4 and then this is plus 8 right so if you work this out you get 4 for the final y value when x is equal to 2 and I'm going to just work these two out because the numbers are easier and now well you know the answer right here is the same answer right here so yeah anyway plugging 1 into here we get y equal to negative 1 square plus 4 times 1 and this is just going to give us negative 1 plus 4 and this is positive 3 and I know I didn't show work over there but I'm showing the work right here so I'm making things up for you guys but anyway lastly when pl you plugging x is equal to 0 negative 0 square plus 4 times 0 and this is easy because everything turns out to be 0 and now this right here will be 3 and this right here will be 0 and we can just make our graph right here and I just need to care about the positive x values like or 0 and then 1, 2, 3, 4 and I also need to go up to 4 for the y value so let's see 1, 2, 3, 4 when x is 2, y is 4, so we have this vertex here. And then when x is equal to 1 and 3, uh, the y values are both equal to 3, so we will have this right here and also this right here. And lastly, when x is equal to 0 and 4, the y values are both equal to 0, so we have 0, 0, 4, 0 right here. And we are done after we connect the dots. And we also get a sad face parabola, but it's okay because we're done. That's it.